This video here came per request of a viewer. So again, if you ever have any struggles with anything, you can just leave me a comment. Let me know what problem you'd like to see. And this is one that I got from someone earlier today. So the question is, the area of a rectangular tray is 3x squared plus 10x plus 8. The width of the tray is x plus 2. What is the length? Anytime you are given a word problem, what I always tell my students, draw yourself a picture. My goodness. I don't want to read all these words and try and figure it out. Just make a picture. It's a rectangular tray. Draw a rectangle. Start there. Okay. What do we know about the area? We know the area is 3x squared plus 10x plus 8. Okay. Take that information, put it into the rectangle. The width of the tray is x plus 2. x plus 2. And what we're being asked is, what is the length? So we need to figure out that right there. What is my length of this rectangle? Now, what do we know about a rectangle? We know that a rectangle is our length times our width, okay? Length times our width. So we also know that a binomial times a binomial here usually will create a trinomial that looks like this. If you're not given x plus 2, you would just factor this. Okay, so you'd go about it and you would just factor the trinomial. One, two, three terms, we call that a trinomial. But because you're given a piece of information, I, there's a quicker way to go about it. And let me show you how to do that right now. First thing I would do is I'm just gonna put empty parentheses, which are gonna be representing my first binomial. I'm gonna multiply that by another binomial, which is given to me, x plus two. And I know that when I multiply these two binomials, my solution will be my area, 3x squared plus 10x plus 8. Okay, now once you work with these long enough, you start to figure out a pattern. You start to realize that the first term, remember we're going to have a term right here, and we're going to have a term right there. First term, second term. Our first term times our first term of each binomial will always create our A. And we know that our last term in the first binomial and our last term in the second binomial will always create what we call the C. So because we know this, when we're given a part of it, it's very quick and easy to figure out what these two pieces should be. Whatever this is, times x will create 3x squared. Hmm, what times x would make 3x squared? That's so simple. 3x times x. 3x times x. Remember the FOIL method here. 3x times x makes 3x squared. Perfect, so I've got my first part of this binomial. Now the second part comes from this eight. Something here, when I multiply my last, remember FOIL, F-O-I-L, last terms, when I multiply these two parts, I'm gonna get eight. Hmm, what number times two is gonna make an eight? That's right, it's gotta be a positive four. So we're gonna say plus four. Okay, first terms will create the AX squared. So three X times X makes three X squared. 4 times 2, 4 times 2 creates my plus C at the end. All right, 4 times 2. So right now, I can go down here and I can say my length is 3x plus 4. I now know my width. I know my length. Probably should take a second just to double check everything. Make sure that when you do your, remember FOIL, we also have to do our inside and our outside. So we have our inside here, 4x. 4 times x is going to make 4x. And then we have to do our outside terms, 3x times 2. That's going to make 6x. Double check to make sure that those are going to combine to make your middle term of bx, which 4x plus 6x does make 10. This way I know I'm correct. I've given the answer that I like. I can move on knowing that I gave the correct answer. So. Long story short, for this problem, 
if the area is 3x squared plus 10x plus 8 and your width is x plus 2, your length would have to be 3x plus 4. Study hard and good luck on your upcoming test.